I followed you for a long time. Like, even before I did Alien Addict, before I had even had a channel, I saw you put stuff up that got your channel nuked when, when you were speaking about stuff that happened back in 2001. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, you're actually balls deep in this, like when it comes to trying to find out what this this technology is. Uh, is, it, is it Falcon Falcon Space? Is that what you, what's the company company's name that you work with, Jeremy? Yeah, so uh, Falcon Space dot org, right? And this is our website right here. Um, yeah, we have. I, I work with uh, a couple different labs, but Falcon has been one of our uh, big ones. It's down in New Jersey. So, yeah. what's going on with this, and how close are you to getting anywhere? And if so, how are you at risk from? Well, you told me we're going to bring up what happened this morning, all right? With people, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm this, kind huh? of like I, I, I think I, we're, I think we're two, almost that's two hours. In. We're we're two hours deep now, man. If we bring this up, we're going to have to go for like another hour, man. So you have to wrap it up. You have <laughs> oh, to wrap no, it up. No, 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 no. I'm I I don't need to wrap up. I mean, I I only no. said we we could we we wrap up when you want to wrap up. You know, I said you leave when you want to leave. You're a guest. You know, um, up, but if you, but I but but I only, I. <laughs> I brought this up at the end because I didn't know if you wanted to speak about it or you if you if you didn't want to speak about it. So that's why I've addressed it the way I addressed it. You might just want to speak about the company. Yeah. Or you might want to speak about what happened. Well, um, I might as well just talk about it because uh yeah, by the time yeah, I don't think they're they're who knows. I'm already I'm already we're already tapped, right? So they already if they if they visited the lab this morning, they already tap in our phones and know everything else that's going on. So. Tell us the story then. Tell let's us tell go, us the sto tell us the right. story from the beginning. Let's bring the why don't we bring the video? Do I have the videos uh, or should you bring them up? Let me. I'll bring I'll this. I'll bring them up. You tell me to bring them up, but but tell us the story first. Like, you know, you 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 get up you get up in the morning. You have a cup of coffee. Let's go from there. Well, Mark calls me around you know a little afternoon, a little before noon time. Just, and just, just, just for the, just for the, the, the drop though. Could you just explain to the? I mean, I'm sure pretty much everybody knows you here. But if anybody's watching this, anybody wants to clip this, they can uh, and share it out. That's fine. Um, this is an open platform. Share what you want to share. What? Who do? You, what do you do? Before you tell us the story, what are you working on? Well, um, we're working on a couple different experiments right now at, at that lab, particularly. Uh, he's mainly working on um, NMR. He also got a guy named Ted Pittman who just moved down there to go and work in our lab with us. And um, we're building, uh, we have an NMR set up with EP, EPR NMR machine, um, which is electro electron paramagnetic resonance or nuclear magnetic resonance. So one's the resonance of the nucleus, the other is the resonance of the electrons in the orbital shells. And um, we're doing experiments with uh, related to Alzafon, which was uh, there's an in 1980s, there was a Boeing uh, study that was done into Alzafon. And the Alzafon stuff goes back to the to the late fifties. It, it was published with uh, Frederick Alzafon, and um, very recently we had David Alzafon, who's Frederick Alzafon's son, come out to our lab and interview extensively, talk about um, his father's research, and um, and uh, we have a number of people working on you know experiments related to this. And uh, the main thing is trying different materials because we, we put them inside this EPR machine, which resonates the electrons and the nucleons. And, and we have a couple different things that we try um, as far as the frequencies and, and, and the, the ranges go to see if we get any weightlessness. You know, it's basically like we're, we're trying to find that terahertz material that we can put it inside this machine and get it to float, and get it to turn weightless. So we're trying tons of different stuff. We haven't found anything we found a couple of weird materials that had some interesting, you know, 
anomalies so far. And, um, you know, so we've put those on the back burner, but we haven't had anything like float or do anything super crazy yet. Um, we're just, uh, we're basically doing, you know, the, the experiments for that, that type of stuff to get it off the ground. So, um, as far as, you know, trying different materials and different resonances and different structures. So this is not building a UFO, but, uh, this is the basis for how you would build a UFO. It's proof of concept so that we could get the funding to actually build larger stuff to do it. But we got some, um, people interested in this. We we've done enough of the research and interviewed enough of the scientists and got enough attention on this that we've got people, you know, funding our research and, and, and giving us money to go and investigate these things now. Right. So the FBI shows up this morning, 930 at the lab. Um, we got a video of this. I can, I can share. Maybe you'd like to share it. Um, but yeah, here, here, why don't I bring that up? Um, bring it up. Yep. Oh, I didn't do that. I got to do the entire screen. There we go. So I think this might actually be them leaving the two, there are two agents that come, um, they showed up in the morning and then they, uh, round, round, this was right like nine 30. This is, um, uh, them leaving, I think. So, uh, Mark calls me uh, a little bit after this and, uh, you know, tells me about this. Uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Um, and he gives me the ad, the, the FBI agent's name. I'm not going to say his name here on the air because I don't want to like blow up. They're, yep. they're coming back on Monday, apparently, to go back to the lab and talk to them um, some more. Right. Uh, so I don't know. Hopefully we don't scare him too. We don't scare him away or, or maybe apparently they got a report that we had uranium being improperly stored in our lab. Um, they closed that investigation, they said earlier this week, because they went around our, our entire lab with a Geiger counter and uh, found no like traces of radiation. So they closed the investigation. But somebody called the FBI and told them that we're doing something with uranium at that lab. Apparently, that's what they're saying to us. We don't have I, someone would have to go and get the FOIA and figure that out and like, you know, get the actual they didn't have a warrant. You know, they just sort of showed up and were asking, invest, you know, in, questions about us and everything is this, um, them le is this them leaving this is them this is them leaving so they came in and talked to mark for a, a quite a, yeah, put a, a from, little put bit from the beginning but i don't have any sound on this you know there's That's no fine. audio um but this is the two agents they're there with their paperwork and stuff and they told mark that they got a report on you know uranium being improperly stored in the lab that they had to follow up on um, but then they said something about to the effect of that they were uh, also investigating UAP for the FBI. What? Um, so mm. I don't know if these guys are involved in a general investigation into UAP. But the name of the individual for the investigator that Mark gave me, we looked we looked him up. Mark actually found a guy. He's like, well, this is him. He's got gray hair now. Um, the picture on his LinkedIn, he has, you know, brown hair still. But it could just be an older picture. Uh, but Mark's 99% sure that's the same guy. Um, but that guy, if you look on his resume on the LinkedIn thing, right, it says that he has 28 years experience in the FBI investigating financial fraud. That's uh, and and um, money laundering. So financial fraud and money laundering investigations. I thought that was interesting. You know. Um. um you know, that they'd send a guy who's an expert in, in money. You know, it's, it doesn't seem like a, a propulsion or a physics, you know, kind of investigator type. This guy's a financial crimes investigator um, telling us that he's, you know, got a report about uranium that they're investigating. So that's kind of weird. Um, now, as far as financial crimes go, it's like we're not we're not, you know, telling anybody that we found anything. You know, we're not out here, you know, saying that I got to. I'm not like David Wilcox, you know, saying that I got a, a spaceship in, that we're building in my garage and taking, you know, tons of money for my, you know, millions of dollars from his investors. Apparently, he's raked in for this. Uh, no flying uh, car, huh? Right. I, I, or, or I'm not like TTSA <laughs> where they came out and promised to actually build investors a spaceship. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually just, you know, scientists who are saying, well, if this exists, then we're going to look into it and and try to find it. <laughs> 
So I'm not like, you know, we got, yeah, we have investors giving us money to look into this stuff, but no one's getting defrauded of their money. No one's getting swindled. No one's getting, no one's being given false promises. But, no one's under the impression. So what that, did they you know, say about UAP though? But they said, yeah. So Mark says that they're investigating UAP and they're interested in it. I'm like, well, that's, uh, that's very curious because if these guys are actually, you know, investigating UAP on behalf of the FBI, that that's and you very... spoke to Sen Senator Gillibrand, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We did a couple <laughs> months right, ago. Yeah, so right. that might that might be has something to do with that that me because me and Mark and uh, and some of our our fellows from from uh, Falcon Space went down to the Senate hearing and, and we're actually in the Senate hearing room. You can see us in the picture um, in the Senate hearing room and in the video uh, that Mark had afterwards where we, I talked to Senator Gillibrand directly about Battelle. And as soon as I did, I got interrupted by uh, a guy who was like head of the Senate intelligence like commission. And he gave me his card and like, uh, I was like, we, we're very interested. We want to hear more about this. And we, we, I please get in touch with me. And like, I was like, you know, it was kind of like, uh, yeah, you hit a nerve there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's interesting that the FBI would be showing up to investigate this. And uh, yeah, there might be spies. We, Mark's convinced that one of one of the guys in our group is it might be a spy. Um, how many? How think, many are there in your group? He's thinking that somebody. Uh, there's, I mean, there, there's quite a. There's probably about nine people, like just in the core group and stuff. But then there's other people outside and affiliates and you know people that work for people and stuff. So, it's, but there's about nine of us that are on different projects that meet up once a week to discuss you know like progress and, and our research and share that. Uh, but um, is this all like uh, funded through like just like? interested you know viewers like, yeah you know, people, people, people that are on uh, youtube that have just said hey you know i got, so I got it's, it's not as if it's, it's a, a big money maker it's just something to like to you you can buy the equipment you get the equipment from your funding and you're doing this you put the Bro, content I, out I'm, there I'm not, that's I'm, it I'm not interested in making money, man. I, like all the money I make, I put right back into, you know, this kind of stuff, which is a, is a shame. And my wife may not be so happy with that. Uh, but, you know. Leave is my wife. I, just, right, I no. just chat shit and get drunk on the show. That's it. No, but uh, yeah, I, we're trying to, you know, get get progress. Because if we if all we need is one discovery and it will all pay off, man, because it, 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 that would Absolutely. change everything. And that's all it would take if, you know, Stephen Greer is right. And we figured this out in the 50s and have been covering it up ever since. It shouldn't be that hard to uncover it up. He's you know always I mean? right. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I, yeah, I, always, I always think they worry, though, Jeremy, about smaller groups like you guys. That People like you guys come up, come up with stuff, though. You figure stuff out. And, you know, it's, it's anything they can kind of keep tabs on. It makes sense. You know, it I don't, does. It, yeah, it doesn't take a giant group to, to figure some things out sometimes. And, you know, well, the fact that we've gotten, you know, like I know we've gotten some attention, you know, and I'm like, I would rather get, you know, like I was hoping to get like, you know, Joe Rogan's attention or one of these other guys. But, you know, I want to get you on Joe Rogan. Yeah. Now we're I, getting the FBI's I, attention. This is this is this is uh this is kind of like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm starting to realize, you know, like we're dealing with some serious stuff here, maybe, you know, potentially, I, or it could just be like somebody doesn't like what we're doing and wants to try to, you know, almost like, but then again, just calling up to report us for you saying that we're storing uranium, like something completely false. Like I, I just don't. It almost sounds like a like you know in in the video game streaming thing called swatting. It's the same yeah. almost the same idea as you kind of getting swatted. Somebody saying, "Hey, they got uranium," and they're coming over to bother you. Kind of like a troll situation, you know? I guess, but it, why not? It, it, there's so many better things. You, I won't I won't mention those <laughs> on there. Did did, so. did did um did your buddy um I forgot the guy's name who who, who they they met at, at your at Falcon Space. But did they present? Did they have all the right credentials? Did they have definitely one hundred percent? Did he say that they were FBI and not somebody that might maybe an impersonating the FBI? No, this this guy I have his name. 
I sent it to you, I believe, on Twitter. Oh, yes, so you, you can did. see yeah. that. I mean, you can look him up on LinkedIn. Yeah. His whole resume is right I've there. I've seen it. Man. Yeah. He's 28 years FBI veteran, and now I guess he works for the Attorney General's Office in Special Investigations, uh, which I thought was you know really interesting because this goes higher, almost higher up than the FBI. They have a senior 28-year FBI veteran guy who's now working for the Attorney General's Office in New Jersey. Uh, going there to investigate this so it's kind of uh well it didn't give away too many what about the other guy that was with it did you look him up um i don't have the name on the younger gentleman though um or who that was but uh yeah apparently they're going to come back on monday and i told mark i was like get their both their business cards with their names like which one of those two gentlemen the one that i i know the name of yeah that's the the older one or the the younger one the younger mentioned one the uap know. Ooh, that's a good question yeah i gotta get mark and, and ask him about this man maybe we should do maybe i should get him to come on and do like a, a stream of, and just talk all about this because this is this is exciting uh and so we, we listen <laughs> we, we would i've said to you for a while i'd like to get all you guys from falcon space on let me see i go see if, uh, mark was not answering his phone earlier when i called him but uh Any moment have to uh get a hold of him but yeah yeah i i gotta get i gotta get a hold of him and, and get more of the uh the story from him man it, it, it's some of our group uh one of our group members jared was just on uh linda molten house fucking broadcast yeah. the other day i sent you the link to that <laughs> huh oh that was funny yeah so like linda molten house they're promoting the apec conference and talking about l propulsion in this group of scientists and stuff i was like all right she's turning a new leaf you know (laughs) hey you know what it's it's good we can use all these avenues to uh bring some uh real information out Uh, that's that that would be good um but yeah I, i again they can investigate us for financial fraud and, and and that all they want and they're not going to find anything because no one's being defrauded no one's no one's being sold false promises and we're just we're just doing investigations that uh you know people you know should the government should have done or you know other people should be doing but you know if anybody no... uh, if, you, if you could think of well you know you can't say that but do you it's do you have an inkling if someone may have reported you who that person may be? Mark thinks he knows, but I'm not sure. I, I don't. I, it just seems kind of weird why they would say it's kind of specific of what they what they said and what they reported. So it, it, it was the word in out. UAP or was the word in UFO? You... UAP. UAP. I, I, that's what Mark said. That's UAP. interesting. So they can use the new, new terminology. Um. I wonder what, yeah. I mean, they're looking at the TTSA at the SEC is over that. Yes, crash yeah. it. So, I mean, it, it makes sense that that's kind of the word around the cooler for a lot of them is they're probably starting to look at people like David Wilcock and all yeah. that, you know, they're probably wondering, is there a bunch of people out here saying they've got, you know, free energy and they're making a ton of money we can't yeah. do that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's on that scale now, you know? I guess. Yeah. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. But again, have, David Wilcox not, you know, saying, hey, the FBI was here this morning investigating the dumpster service that's been using my hangar. Sure. You know, sure. <laughs> so maybe there's a reason. I don't well, know. Yeah, but yeah, but when you think about this, though, Jeremy, is look at someone like David Wilcock and look at you, though. I mean, way different levels of knowledge into physics and an understanding of what's probably capable. I mean, I would be more worried about you than than David Wilcock, though, right? He's kind of a showman thing. Like, you, you, know, you know, he's talking nonsense most of the time. Yeah, but if you're a financial crimes investigator and you want to you want to build a case for a financial fraud, I mean, he would be the guy I'd go after. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but it just seems more plausible that you would get a lot more investment than he would. You know what I mean? And you could you could get better investors than he could. Most people kind of know that what he's doing is bullshit. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I mean? He's got a bigger audience, I guess, and a lot, a lot, you know. I mean, for more. now, for now, we'll see. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it seems like this stuff's really gonna. I really think in the next year we're gonna see this this blow up huge. If, if you yes. go on, if you go on Rogan, man, that's a whole yeah. different universe of, of game changer level. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to, dude. I, we oh, should you stop, have to, man. So oh, man, you're you're crazy. Oh, if you don't. Hit yourself on Rogan. 
If you don't, I know, I some of the guys he's had on, I still look at some of the other guests and I'm like, what am I worried about? How bad can I possibly butcher this? You know? Oh, if he, <laughs> if, if, mate, if I, if I ever went on there, I went on, I went on the ice cream show the other day, Rogan hands out whiskey. I had a whiskey <laughs> before ice cream show. Don't watch that. <laughs> I'm annihilated on that show. But just to set the record straight, you were not raided by the FBI. You've just, no. you've just been investigated. They showed up with two agents in, in plain clothes, like with just notebooks, right? No guns, no SWAT team, no, um, you know, task force. They're looking for thallium poisoning and, you know, trying to find my element 115. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <You> know. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. I appreciate that. No, it was not a raid. It was working. There was no raid. Um, there was no raiders. They weren't raiding anything. They weren't. They didn't take anything. Uh, apparently, they went there a day before with a Geiger counter and went around our lab on the outside and closed their investigation to the uranium uh, allegations after they found uh, zero evidence for uh, any radioactive uh, stray radiation. The Lazar raid was to do like we established that that was to do with a client of theirs that a possible a, a murder investigation yeah uh, yeah and corbell we think just played that up a little bit for sure oh uh, yeah no he's telling the truth man they were really there for the element 115 though right what are you talking about <laughs> But that they know where it is, that, but they're just not going to allow you know? lie to us. <laughs> but don't you don't you find it ironic that you've got something that, that like you and Lazar kind of like you've got this? They're raiding. I would. They're raiding. The they're ra now they're raiding now, you. Now, now we got. Now we're on. Now we're on Lazar status officially. You know? <laughs> so. George Knapp better pay note and, and pay attention, man. <laughs> 